Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So we're doing the first test flight of the Phantom 2 with the FPV rig. So do a quick walk around. I've got uh, red lights on the front and I got blinking green on the back. So I'm really not sure what that's trying to tell me. I've got the little handy dandy thing here. That section's in Mandarin. So, uh, I think that's uh, pretty much set. Now, I've got, the, unfortunately, I've got FPV recording and I've got the uh, 360 camera recording also. But I put the FPV camera on upside down, unfortunately, because uh, when I mounted it on the bench, uh, it was upside down, so it looked right side up. So, uh, I'm not going to do anything too crazy this time around with it. I'm just trying to get kind of the hang of how this thing flies and uh, that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to kind of take it easy, kind of mosey it on over here, and uh, just basically flight line of sight. Whoa! I'm not sure how good of a GPS lock I have on this because it should, well, it's kind of holding uh, because I've got it in, uh, in GPS mode. So I'm just kind of flying it. I forgot the, uh, also I brought the wrong tripod too. So, uh, I, I'm, unfortunately I've got my FPV on the ground over here. And I kind of want to keep an eye on that. So I've got the, my uh, FPV here. And so I'm, I'm recording FPV on this. So I'm just sort of experimenting, if you will. I'm not sure how great that's going to be. So I can't really see it. In, the copter is drifting. I think I'm going to need to do a compass calibration on this. Although I really didn't come up with the warning for compass calibration. Uh, let's see if we bring it back. Bring it back towards me, kind of fly it between these trees. Okay, this is bringing it back towards me. Altitude-wise, it's it's pretty stable. I always forget when I fly it backwards. I got to work the sticks backwards. Just want to stay away from that tree. So again, when you see the video for the FPV, I'll flip it around and post. Uh, but the ground's sloping, so that's sort of why it probably looks like it's going up. So. Uh, I still got the, the, the blinking lights over there, so what I want to do is I want to take it across. I want to take it over into the spillway. I was flying the spillway the other day. So let's, uh, I want to boost it up over the cattails over the spillway. Just kind of nice, take it over and let it hover in the spillway. Take it a little bit forward. And we're, we should be catching uh, 360 video. And I'm just going to fly it forward in the spillway a little bit. The altitude hold, it seems to be doing real good. I think the drift is, I'm going to have to do a compass calibration. I love the smoothness of this. This is really, I don't know if you can see how smooth it's flying. Really slow, right up the spillway. I'm stopping it. I'm going to back it up the spillway. And bring it back. And again, I'm just back sticking it. Bringing it back. You know, with the FPV, I could uh, uh, spin it around. One of the things I am I'm going to do is I am going to get FPV goggles for this guy. Uh, I've got it geofenced a little bit tight. Um, because one of the things that I, I want to do is do sort of some FPV work. I want to put it over there. For some reason it's going down a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to yaw it around so I'm looking back. The other thing, if you watch the other video when I set this up, I am running the dipole antenna rather than the clover leaf uh, or the mushroom antenna. Uh, I want to do some tests with that first and see how it does. 
the uh, mushroom antenna because also I want to get one of the mushroom antennas for the FPV rig too because I've got the dipole and the panel antenna which I was using on the up airs uh, on that guy so again let's uh, let's take this down and let's explore a little bit this is again walking up the spillway I'm out in the cemetery today or the edge of the cemetery on the spillway uh, the beach is getting kind of busy this time of year. It's a, actually a pretty nice day out. Um, Cemetery is fairly busy too, uh, ironically. And I think a lot of people are just coming and cleaning up and that kind of stuff. I want to take this a little bit more to the center. I want to take this more to the center. Now with that wind, it's uh, it's uh, the wind picked up a little bit, which is taking it down. So I'm actually uh. Had to bring it back up in altitude a little bit. I want to watch it. This tree's kind of low here, and it might be getting kind of close. I am kind of interested to see what some of the 360-degree uh, video looks like. So let's just let's just kind of keep walking it backwards and see what kind of video we get. One of the things that I like about this is it's supposed to have a pretty good battery life. Now I'm running a 600 milliwatt transmitter, so that's definitely going to have an effect on its battery life. Uh, so again, it's going out pretty good. I'm going to watch it because it's coming a little bit out of my line of sight. And I'm going to take it back this way. And I'm going to fly it back through here. And we get a little faster. I'm just, just still really trying to get the hang of this uh, one. Just see how it performs. It seems to do okay. Uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it. Just have to figure out that compass calibration uh, with it. You know with the up airs there is just simply no cali compass calibration with it. And with this there is. Uh, so I'm going to have to go back and do some looking and maybe make up a cheat sheet. Again, I left this one on here, but it's, uh, it's not too good. But I'm still pretty happy with this little guy so far. Uh, I really got it to be the workhorse, uh, just kind of a mess around workhorse, if you will. Um, you know, because I had the one up air that, that I smashed, and then I jury-rigged it. And I really wasn't happy with the fact I jury-rigged it. Uh, you know, it's a little bit kind of risky when you're flying it around and it's, you know, you've had to hack the motherboard and everything else to make it work. So I decided to sell that on eBay for parts and then I ended up picking up this guy brand new uh, off of uh, eBay. I was watching it on Amazon, but then they sort of got stupid in price. So I picked this guy up a little less than uh, 300 bucks on uh, Amazon, uh, sorry, eBay from an eBay seller. So I'm going to bring this guy back over uh, the thing. So I'm going to take him up a little bit. Make sure I'm not going to run into any trees here. And we're just kind of hovering. The, uh, the one thing I like with this GPS is you can kind of, it's a little bit forgiving in, in getting into tight spaces. So we still have the green blinking with the red on the front, or it's uh, yeah, it's red, not amber. And so, uh, I want to take it back out. Whoops, I want to take it a little bit away from that tree. And I want to take it, I'm going to take it out. And I want to see about taking it up. I can see it for quite a ways here above ground. And so, uh, see, it's going actually uphill. So I'm having to maneuver it a little bit uh, up, you know, uh, up because it's getting closer to the ground as it goes out. And so uh, we're just kind of taking it out around. And you know, we're just going to kind of hover it there. I want to take it back around this way a little bit. I want to take it up a little bit more because I'm going to start bringing it back towards me. And again, just kind of flying it around. I'm in a little bit tight quarter here. This is sort of like a bowling alley, if you will. Uh, and so I've got a real long, I've got about a quarter mile straight in front of me of just open. But it's not hugely wide, so uh, I'm just kind of flying around in there. I also got a cell phone tower over there. I don't know if you can see it. 
they're a bit cautious of. They always make me a little bit nervous. Uh, so bringing this guy back in. And the biggest thing is I'm just kind of running it through its paces. I just want to make sure that this guy's, you know, not going to do anything wild. Uh, that's one thing that bothered me a little bit about the up air. Sometimes they would do uh, some wild things and you'd have to do some quick recoveries. And again, that's what I want to see with this guy, if he's going to do some wild stuff. Uh, the altitude, he doesn't seem to be as sophisticated with the altitude hold um, as my Phantom 3. It's not bad, but and I would kind of expect he isn't going to be as good. Now, I don't know if the motors are as, as powerful on this one as they are the, uh, the Phantom 3. It does take the same props. Now, this is the Phantom 2 version 2, uh, so this is the newer version. You notice there's a little bit of wind coming in and it's buffeting. The one thing I am going to try to do is go to tripods on this. You notice, I want to get away from that tree. It just really wants to go towards that tree. I want to get away from that tree. It just wants to go to that tree. Because that's where I want to, I want to see. I just want, I'm just, I'm not moving the stick at all. I've got a bit of a breeze. You can maybe see the tree over there. Uh, not a huge breeze. Uh, I just want to check around me, make sure everything is copacetic. Uh, but again, that's where I think, I think again with the compass is, uh, see, see when it yaws, it moves. See, I, that shouldn't move. I don't think I've got a good GPS lock or something. It must have s somewhat of a GPS lock because it's, it's holding where it's at right here. You know, so I can stop it, but when I yaw it, if I do a fast yaw, it wants to move. And so it's in, the wind is definitely pushing it. So I'm trying to keep it away from that tree. It just really wants to go towards that tree. It got me in the picture. And again, I know you can see the wind on that, that brush over there. It's a, it's a little bit of a breeze. It's probably about a five mile an hour breeze. I wouldn't suspect a copter of this size to have a problem with a five mile an hour breeze. Uh, so again, this is telling me there's something a little bit with it. But it is, it is holding position. It's holding it, you know, roughly altitude and everything else, uh, given this little bit of a wind. Uh, but I would expect a little bit better, you know, with the Phantom 3, uh, I definitely, I think, would be hitting it a little bit harder. So, uh, anyways, the flight time is just really, really good on this guy. Now, now you're... Ah, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna land it. Okay, that didn't do good. So that last part there, um, that was interesting. So it went into um, low battery mode and it wanted to go home, which the good thing is because I started out over there and uh, that's why it jumped up on its own. You notice the lights went to all red from the green. So I brought it down pretty quick. Now, one of the things I did notice is when it went to return to home, uh, the stick stopped responding. So that's really something I have to be careful with. Uh, I did, uh, after it started the return to home sequence, uh, I was able to get control of it back. So this is one of the reasons. You want to take a copter out and you want to experiment a little bit with it and to understand how it's going to fly and everything like that before you really take it out, especially around people and, and other things. So uh, anyways, very happy with this so far. Uh, Everything's running. You know, we ate a little grass with it, but that's okay. I want to turn the battery off here. And you notice I had the flashing, all flashing red, so that was in low battery state. Um, I've got the 360 degree camera. I keep calling this a 3D camera, and it's not. Uh, 
let me see record let me turn this off now the other thing the other thing worth note that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to rebalance this one of the things because I've added this FPV gear and everything on here I, I've tried to relatively balance it all uh, but there is uh, where you connect up through this USB port in the front behind that camera you connect up uh, the uh, uh, you know uh, phantom assistant and you can actually do let me turn around here I don't know if I'm getting wind noise what the best way is to avoid the wind noise but uh, you can set the balance on this too so I'm gonna experiment a little bit more so far I'm pretty happy with this uh, the first experiments and flights went pretty good so learned a few things so hey uh, hopefully you found this interesting and let me see if I can get this out here and if you did subscribe buttons coming up over there be sure to subscribe hit me up in the comments below let me know what you had for lunch let me know if you got one of these let me know if you think this FPV rig is pretty cool or what and uh, hey we'll catch you in the next video cheers